country singer Jana Kramer, uh, I love her. I met her um, at uh, Nashville Square, as I did it. Oh. Lovely. And her and her husband, Mike. And she gave some relationship advice. Mm -hmm. She says that they have a rule. It's called the 24-hour rule. That if one person lies, they have 21 hours to get back and admit the lie. Okay. 24 hours. 24 hours? Okay. Yes. To get, to get back. To, um, to admit it and to, to admit own it. And confess to each other okay. and make it right. So 24 hours within the time that they, you know, lied. So pretty much something like, if I lied to you, I can come to in the morning, I can come to you in the evening and be like, listen, just want to get this off my chest. Actually, when I told you this morning I was going such and such place, I was going somewhere mm -hmm. else, and I want to get that off my chest. And that if it's in within the 24 hours, she's able to forgive. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, she says it shows growth, and it's honesty, and it builds trust, and that's what has helped their relationship. When I was so. first told this story, I was like, that's beautiful. But then I was like, why y'all lying like that? <laughs> <laughs> I, guys, I have a bigger question. I, I want to answer Amanda's, but... but Ask your question. It goes along the lines of that. Okay. When you are lying in a relationship, two parties have to ask themselves this question. Number one, why Lie. do I feel I yeah. need to lie to her? Yeah. Like, yeah. what am I doing? What am I feeling? What's going on on the inside that makes me feel that I need to lie to her exactly. about these things? And number two, why should I be with someone that I'm hoping by the end of the day will tell me the truth? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, like, well, I think... I think in this instance, because I was questioning it too, okay. I don't, I want you to feel like you always, you always want to tell me the truth, yeah. right? But I think what they were saying is, is he actually is a sex addict and oh. there was infidelity yes. in this relationship. Yeah. Oh. So they, they went to therapy and the psychologist was trying to find a way on how to help them make it work. And what this does is this helps him, one, hold himself accountable for, okay. right. and then two, rebuild the trust in their relationship because I feel like that's probably the hardest thing to do right. when you have you know been been cheated on because marriage that number well one of the really important things to me in a marriage is trust, trust. Yes. and when you break yes. that the most important how, how yeah that. like yeah. how do you okay. rebuild that so I, I agree with you but you also don't want it to become no. a Habit. crutch a crutch. oh yes 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 of I get out of jail free yeah. Card. Yes. yeah I only want to explain this based on both of your guys' kind yeah. of open-ended question right now we all know what a lie is when it's not the truth however I've learned in my my time of dating that people don't always know what is considered a lie. And I, let me explain, hmm. okay? And then I'll explain the rule that I came up with that now works in my relationship. Okay. So I had a person who I very much cared about lied to me because they were embarrassed about the truth and it yeah. wouldn't affect me, okay?